everybody, my name is Olivia, and today we're here with Paul Sarasi, who is a director of photography, and whom I've had the pleasure of working with for the past 10 months. Thanks for coming out. Uh, pleasure, pleasure. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the responsibilities of a director of photography and what you do every day on set? Uh, well, uh, the cinematographer does a bunch of different things uh, to do with the photography of uh, the show. Uh, I guess for me, the most important thing that they're involved with, or I'm involved with, is the lighting of, of the show. Um, and your job adjusts and changes uh, depending on the director <coughs> you're working with and the kind of project that it is. But uh, mainly the lighting is, is, is the thing. And uh, that's uh, the area of cinematography that I like uh, the most. The cinematography, it's, it's pretty much a constant thing where you're either preparing for the scene, walking the scene, lighting the scene, rehearsing the scene, shooting the scene, and then you're on to the next one. So a day is kind of over in a, in a blink of an eye. So I, I think, um, aside from all the creative uh, uh, aspects of cinematography that I love, uh, that's also uh, something that that is a, a great bonus to the to the job, is that it, it the days just flies by. Yeah. Of course. And I know you were a camera operator before. So how was your transition from camera operator to DP? How did that come about? Well, I came from film school and pretty much started uh, being a cinematographer. Uh, uh, jumped into right that immediately um, and operated my own camera. Okay. But uh, when I did operate the camera, I would light the scene through the looking through the camera. Uh, which is something that uh, is no longer kind of the way of doing things anyhow because since uh, cinematography went from film to uh, HD, high definition, you're kind of obliged to be watching off of a big high quality monitor. monitor yeah. So you, you kind of, it's, it's only natural to, to have an operator. So it, it is quite a change from, from the days when uh, you could sit on the camera and as time went on uh, it was obliged to be another person's job to to do that right and have you ever had a perfect lighting setup do you think something like that even exists well i i, I mean so many setups even in one project never mind over the years and many other projects they all have different demands and needs and, and whatnot but i i i guess um, the ideal lighting setup tends to be the simplest, like where with one light, uh, the most amazing shot uh, comes out. It, it tends to be the, the, the more complicated it is, um, the, the less good it is. <laughs> yes, it sort yes. of, of course. And, and obviously there are situations where you're in nature, where the sun is setting, or there's some amazing natural tiring. thing yeah. and, 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 and that you catch that moment which often is sort of in the hands of the gods anyhow it's yeah. it's you, you feel like that's that's uh, more of an accomplishment than if it's just a cloudy day and, right. uh, exactly. and is there a difference between lighting for a feature film and in television well Do you find there, there's a specific difference or? I, there is the, the, the main thing which applies to all type of shooting, feature films, TV, commercials, whatnot, is time and how much or how little. And I, I don't, I think you rarely suffer from having too much time. <laughs> yeah. um, but I guess in general, TV shooting, uh, you you have at your disposal far less time than on, on a feature. So the course of a day uh, and how many pages of script you tend to, tend to, tend to shoot. And uh, in television, it, it can be like six mm -hmm. to ten pages, and then in a feature, average day, it's maybe two to four pages. So, since it, it takes so much time to shoot each page, uh, it, it's it's a lot more time uh, that's given you in a in a feature situation. And also in regards <coughs> to film and the difference between television. I know directors on television switch up every episode. Do you prefer working with someone from the beginning to end of a project, like in a feature film, or do you like the variety of television where you switch up the director from every week? 
Well, that entirely depends. Their ideal, though, is is somebody that is is really interesting and challenging to work with over a, a long period of time, and and it's it's not necessarily um, true that the nicest director is the best director. It's it's uh, um, it, it's really uh, a lot of factors come into play, right? Yeah. And last but not least, if there was another job you could do on set, what would it be and why? Uh, I guess the chef uh, at lunch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I'm very lucky because I, I love uh, what I do. And, and I, I think on a film set, there are a lot of jobs where there's a lot of waiting around just by virtue of the nature of the job. And well, thank you very much for your time. And thanks, everybody, for watching.